Hello and welcome to the Midwich Training Academy. My name is Carl, I'm the Technical Sales Manager here at Midwich Security and today we're going to be talking to you about 2 megapixel versus 3 megapixel cameras, what the differences are and what some of the decision factors on picking a camera should be. Before we look at resolution we need to look at aspect ratio. This is a ratio of the width to the height of an image. It's especially important for display nowadays as monitors have moved from a 4x3 to a 16x9 aspect ratio. The two monitors here show correctly aligned images to the monitors. If, however, we put a 4x3 image on a 16 x 9 monitor, we're going to get issues. Where we fit the image to the width, we're going to lose the top and bottom. Where we fit the image to the screen, we're going to distort the image itself. And where we fit the image to the height, we introduce space to the left and right. All of those have their own issues as far as a customer is concerned. Terms used for detailing resolution within the security industry has become the megapixel. This however is a bit misleading as it's a measurement of area, not definition level. Hence I prefer to use the AV industry terms which clearly define the level of detail that you're going to achieve with terms such as 1080p, 720p and 4K. The common formats you're going to see used in the security industry are on the screen at the moment. We've included their actual dimensions so you can see the numbers that relate to them. You can see that the only ones that actually fit the 16 by 9 aspect ratios are those ones I mentioned previously for the AV industry of 720p, 1080p and 4K. So what's the difference between 1080p and 3 megapixel? Well according to the dimensions you get just over 6.7% more width on 3 megapixels and about 40% more height. But what does this really look like? These two videos are at the same pixels per centimetre definition. And as you can clearly see, the difference in width is barely noticeable. The height difference is noticeable, however, but in most scenarios you'll be showing areas of scene that you're not interested in, such as the ceiling and areas right in front of the camera on the floor. The major drawback to all the extra detail, of course, is that storage requirement increase goes with it. So the question I've got is, do you need the 3 megapixel at the cost of the additional storage and bandwidth that it's going to give you? When we come to camera use and purpose, the Home Office Scientific Development Branch published guidelines on CCTV operation. These are guidelines the police work to for footage that to be used in a court of law. So for example, if we're looking to identify an individual, then we will require 100% of the field of view to be filled with a person if we were using a traditional analogue camera. Now obviously we've moved over to IP. Therefore, this has now been listed down as a level of definition which we could measure in pixels per centimetre. If we look at a 2 megapixel camera, this is going to require about 38% of the field of view height-wise to be filled to identify an individual. If you think back to our 2 megapixel versus 3 megapixel videos, you can see although this might mean we have more height in the image, we're not going to gain much in the way of width if we move over to a 3 megapixel camera. So in summary, what are some of the key differences between 1080p and 3 megapixels? Well, for a start, 1080p has a slightly lower width than a 3 megapixel at the same number of pixels per centimetre. It has a lower storage requirement than 3 megapixels. We're only recording 2 megapixels worth of data, not 3 megapixels worth of data. And it runs a standard aspect ratio, the 16x9 format of current monitors. If we move over to 3 megapixels, yes it has a greater height than 1080p. It also has a greater storage requirement than 1080p. And its aspect ratio is 4 by 3 so designed specifically for the older style monitors. So we're going to have to compromise when we come to display that on a modern 16 by 9 monitor. 